and uh, welcome back. I'm gonna be finishing up. Yeah, quest line, but first gonna do the dailies and stuff. One wish at a time. God, are they gonna make it this <sighs> cool? Get this vortex vanquisher. Illusion shattered! Motion to compel! Time for your raven!
I will have order. There is no escape. Wrap up the flame. Good. Replace my Incinerate. Astra Ab Thank you for complete Ad Astra Shattered. Motion to compel. <laughs> Beg for mercy.
will be mine. Order guide you. Shine down. Incinerate. Beg for mercy. Blood of frost. Eye for an eye. Can't run from death. The wrong test subject.
This is order. There is no escape. Motion to compel. We'll have order. Shine down. Shattered. Huh. Huh. Beg for mercy. Huh. 
stabilized. There is no escape. Crush. Shudder. Beg for mercy. Let me try. Order guide you. Illusion shattered. Motion to compel. Time for your. Cut down. Yeah. Yeah. Crush. Fall yeah. before me. Visibility is excellent. If we head to higher ground, we can do a full recon of enemy activity in the area. Solidify! There is no escape! Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This world is full of unsolved mysteries.
I created another universe. This is where we started. Hello, what are you two looking to buy? We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Following the paper got us past the first wound. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You two, please follow me. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, hold on. Um, no, look again! We're obviously wearing morning flowers! Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. is up ahead. Please follow me. Define erudition. I found this on the web. Define E-R-U-D-I-T-I-O-N. Erudition means the quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning, scholarship. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. 
Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? No, that's not it. The paper said that heat stroke is the answer to erudition. Ugh, eating something that causes heat stroke sounds horrifying. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But as things currently stand, we won't be able to fulfill your order. Why don't you two think things over? He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the paper that Al Hatham gave what us. What the heck? He just gave us what each thing means. Why don't I want something that look that gives Before me knowledge? I your products, I need to confirm a few things. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our para fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep, that's the right answer. But eating horror fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? I don't know, what do we want? I'm guessing that you're going for a more traditional packaging since this is your first time here. Wait a sec. Sumero City style means we're only buying a few things. He won't take us to see Dory if we do that. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Frick He's you. Let's take a closer look. Where? Okay, let's take a let's take a look at the freaking paper that was given to us. Let's take a look. Okay, look. Okay. And where does it say what he wants? See? Nothing. Unless I remembered Before everything I that products, was said in the previous conversation. Things. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep, that's the right answer. But... Eating horror fruit that makes your Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay, everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at. Shoot, it's the Matra! Run! What? The Matra? Where? I'll oh, hate them, Zip. We're done for if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. We don't know this area, so let's follow that apartment! There's no matra. Keep going up, my friend.
you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger. Come this way. Another password. Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the right. Here, over here. You can stop running now. Oh, who the frick are you? Freaking lollies. I hate them. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure that you'd look a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. You're not scary. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much more they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry, I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. Where's your costume? As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Yeah. Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead, help yourselves. Voila! Wow, she has a trove of Cairn's knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillicherals. Only three people in all of Tevat have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. Yeesh, who would want to be an expert in that topic? Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tevat in the early Archon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Whoa, that's a lot of mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, and quite the eye for quality. We'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with a taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed, one in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Listen. I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of 1 million more. Say what now? Hey, did 
Did you hear that? Spend another hundred K and we get a capsule worth a whole million. But all the canned knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Isn't that a fantastic deal? Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. And so far, everything we bought belongs to all Haytham. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? Come on, come on! We still have around a hundred thousand of Alhatham's moral left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem, you got a deal, Dory! We'd like to spend an extra one hundred thousand mora. Excellent! And then please, select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. Uh, hold on a second. We could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. Uh oh Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. So, what did you see? So, they're all worth about the same amount? Well, anyway, the Mora's already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, how about this one? Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Not sure we'd ever find volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. Dory, we'll take this one. All right, very good. But I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with Alhatham. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. <laughs> mora, Mora, shiny Mora. <laughs> oh, uh, please come back anytime you need something. Picada fundo. Ha! Huh. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. 
Whoa, there's so many people from the Academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wikela Funduk is under the Academia's control, so naturally the Academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. <sighs> okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. Yeah, he just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow, there's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we can learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or how to find your sister? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ainul Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So... I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. Um, oh, hey, Foom. Before you go, we actually bought a Knowledge Capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> 
You two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? This place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here! Hmm... Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Eremites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah! What a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles, one before using this knowledge capsule and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! It's actually very um, basic. Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the Academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Trying to avoid the question. All right, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. All right, 
I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. He's a slower level. Propagate! Stop freaking floating!
Now, I'll start recording data again. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? He literally just started. Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. <laughs> During the second fight, his overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Wait, how much? Negligible. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. What the heck is going on over there?
down. I'll keep this close. Stabilize! Illusion shattered!
Next time, be sure to make a proper appointment. More speed.
This world is full of unsolved mysteries.
Solidify! You are Scatter. not welcome in the hunting Germinate! Thank for mercy! New Crush! Propagate! Good luck.
That's it for today.